Okay, so it looks like I got my grow beds all fixed up, and they're not leaking, and I've got two of them. I've got a bunch of uh, celery that needs transplanting right now. And I thought I'd put it in here, and I have found that celery seems to like uh, aquaponic. So what I'm going to do is you see these little net cups? I, I don't know. They're about an inch or so, maybe an inch and a half. Let's see if there's a, something written on them. I bought these a long time ago. I have a whole bunch of them. I don't know. Anyway, so what we got to do is we're going to drill a bunch of holes like I've done here. You can see, see these here cups. See, they fit right in these holes right there. So what I'm going to do is drill a bunch of holes in here and these two, and those are going to be for the celery. So let's take these out of here, and what we'll do is we're going to take these up to the shop, and we're going to drill the holes in these for the little net cups. Okay, I'm over in our shop now, and I've got a piece of plywood that I put on top of the table saw, and I'm going to use that as my work surface. But here's one of those pieces of, uh, of styrofoam. Now what I'm going to cut it with is two things you got to do. I've got this, this two-inch hole saw, and as you can see, you, know, you can get these at the hardware store. They come in sets. And this is a two-inch hole saw, and this is just perfect for those two inch net cups. Now what I've got to do is figure out, well, how many holes am I going to put in here? Now what I'm, going to, what I'm thinking of doing because I'm going to do celery is I'm going to put three across and uh, yeah, three across and four across this way. Now I'm going to eyeball this and uh, normally people would, you know, uh, draw this out, but I'm not going to be that careful because it's, it's really not that critical. And the other thing you need to do is, you see this template? You see this hole saw fits right in there because I cut this out a while ago. One thing about these hole saws, if you don't have, if you don't have a, uh, a drill bit in the middle, and some of them do have a drill that comes out that helps center it, when you start uh, drilling on these things like that, if you don't have something to hold this still, it'll start to chatter and go all over the place. And they're really hard to control. But... If you have a little template like that and you just put a little pressure on it to hold it down, that does the trick. So, let's get started. So, I'm going to do the first set of holes. One, two, three. So, here we go. Put that one there and then remember what we do is you drill. You hold that down. And... Now, look at that. Made a nice clean hole. You see that? Got that out of there. Now we've got one done. And we'll get the other one done. Do it the same way. And the other one is right over here. And uh, make a carbon copy of that one. Okay, so we're up here in our sun deck. And quite a while ago, I started growing these. These are celery, and, and uh, what we got them is it's just in one of these little uh, little shallow pans. And uh, they've all, I've already pulled a bunch of these out. Now they won't grow in here because they're just too crowded, and the, the dirt's too shallow, and all those sorts of factors. So I've got to get them out of here one way or another. So what I'm going to do is uh, transplant them. Now, as I showed, told you before, we use these little pots these two inch net pots and then I'm going to use this to hold them. Now you see what these, this is two pieces that have been used of uh, swamp cooler batting material. Now I didn't have enough left over to do all of these so I'm going to cut some up to show you what this is. Now this is a piece that's left over. What this stuff is, is if you live in an area where they have swamp coolers, you know evaporative coolers, I guess if you live in the deep south or places where there's high humidity uh, you probably don't see those very often because they only work when the uh, relative humidity outside is kind of low. And when it's kind of when it, in a situation like that, they work really, really good. Otherwise, you have to have air conditioning, um, refrigerated air conditioning. Anyway, where I live, you can find this stuff at the local hardware store. You know, Home Depot, Lowe's, I need those. So you buy them in sheets. You know, they're usually two feet by three feet. And they're about various sizes to fit various kind of coolers. Anyway, I found this stuff works really good, you know, for uh, uh, pl for planting and stuff, for putting stuff in hydroponics. 
because it's I guess it's some kind of a uh, synthetic based something or other and the, the roots just grow right through and it does absorb moisture because you know it's made for swamp coolers and the whole idea is you know you drip water on the top and you know and then the water goes down and it's supposed to spread out in here so that the air can get sucked through there and evaporate the water so this stuff is water absorbent and uh, and uh, you know it's non-reactant to the plants so anyway what I do is uh, I usually cut a strip of this stuff off like about an inch so let's cut one here I'll kind of show you and by the way these strips they're about two yeah you know, roughly two by three feet and they cost like something like five or six dollars for a sheet that big so there's a strip about an inch wide then what I do is I just cut you know pieces off of that now what you do with these you know, it's, it's kind of straightforward, obviously, but what you do is you put the plant in here, on here, and then you put that on top of it, and hold it, and then you stuff that in the net cup. And it's that simple, and it works really, really good. So let me cut the rest of these. So I need enough for about 12 or 13, so I'll cut the rest of these out. And then we'll uh, get this out of here, and I'll show you how to transplant celery. Celery's pretty good in hydroponics, I've found out. And I, I found out by accident just by accidentally putting some in there. Let's see how it goes. And boy, it loves it. Okay, so I've cut up all the little pieces of uh, uh, swamp cooler batting and got them in here and I've got 24 little cups waiting to go. Now what I've got to do is get these uh, 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 celery plants out of here. Now how do you do that without damaging them and so forth? What I'm going to do is basically pour some water in here and basically turn this into a mud uh, a very muddy uh, solution and that way the, you know I'll leave the dirt in there but what what will happen is there'll be so much water in here that it'll be like a very loose loose mud and I'll be able to pull these uh, out of here so here goes there's the water and now you can see this is just water and mud so what we're gonna do is kinda look for this first bunch and I'm just gonna put my hands in here and reach under there and just you know, basically lift up the mud and uh, does have roots in it. You want to get as you want to keep the roots on the on the celery as much as possible. But with something like this, this is completely root bound, so you're going to do some damage. It just you just can't help it. But let's get there. We go. Okay, there's a chunk. And what we'll do. We'll try to get some of these apart. Now, I know this looks like I'm manhandling these, and that is the truth, but you got to get them apart. Oh, there's good roots left. So let's just, there's one, and there's, there's two, and there's three. Three, four, and let's see how many we got here. Five, six. Okay, so here's what we'll do. Now, what we're going to do is you take these, like I said, this one's an easy one, it's a small one, and the idea is you put that in there. And really, the the uh, fiber, this uh, material, all it's really for is to kind of you know, hold the, uh, just to kind of hold that up. It, it's all it is to pro provide a little support. It really doesn't need it other than that. So let's uh, fill these up and get them out there to the, get them out there in the uh, hydroponic setup. Quickly yeah, as we can. Let's get down there and transplant them. Okay, here's one of my grow beds that I just uh, proofed that it doesn't leak, and I put some uh, nutrients in it. Okay, remember we punched some holes in that, so let's push this down, and then what we'll do, it's quite simple and straightforward, you just take these and push them down in there. Make sure that. Okay, I've got them all transplanted now. And it doesn't look too pretty. See, they're all, 
they're all leaning over like they've seen better days. But let's give it a couple of days and see if they stand up and just see how well things go. Okay, it's the 27th of August, a little update here, and this is one day since transplanting. And as you can see, none of these look like they're dead, but some of them look like they're sick. And you can see some of them are springing back up. Anyway, this is what it looks like after one day. This is the 28th of August, two days after transplanting these, and you can kind of see how they're doing. Get up here. As you can see, some of them are coming back, and uh, some are who knows. But well, anyway, let's let's get a close up of these. See, some are recovering nicely; they're standing straight up. Some are trying to stand straight up. So we are probably going to lose some of these, but I would predict at this point the ones that we don't lose are going to grow very well. Okay, it is the 1st of September today. Let's get the magnification down. The 1st of September today, and you can see they are standing up again. Well, most of them are. And uh, so they are recovering. So, Well, it's the 3rd of September in the morning, and as you can see, the uh, celery plants are all recovered. They had a rough time, but they're all recovered and they're all alive. There isn't any that's dead. There's some that uh, had a really bad time, but you can see the leaves are coming up. Even these are coming through. The leaves are all, every plant here has survived and is coming back. But boy, that was a big old transplant shock. Now there's one back here that maybe isn't going to make it, but we'll keep that in there anyway. But this looks like they're going to make it. Everything's going fine. So we'll let these grow and see how well they do. It's the 13th of September today, 2016. And these are the uh, celery plants I transplanted. As you can see, all of them made it. Some of them are doing a lot better than others. It just depends. Two of them didn't uh, survive, but all the others did. And uh, so there it is. It is the 21st of September today, so you can see a little progress here on the the uh, celery. It's growing quite well. Only two of them did not survive, like I said, and uh, it's doing pretty well. Pretty good, pretty good progress here. And as you can see, uh, from about a month ago when we put these in here, they look pretty sick. But uh, two of them didn't make it, but the the rest of them are really recovering nicely. Now, we're going to be keeping these in here, and then we're going to be harvesting them when it's time. But I want to just show you some of the uh, the uh, close-ups of how this thing, look how well they're doing. See in there how well that one's doing? These are turning into some pretty healthy plants. See, look at this one over here. So this is... Uh, this is well done. This is this is good stuff. And all this is is a tank of water with nutrients in it. It is October the 22nd today, 2016. Just a little update on how this celery has adapted to the aquaponics or the hydroponics thing I've got in here. Let's get a little closer. This is really done well. Now there's something. Look at this. The remember how these the holes. Here's this just to show you how big the holes are. See there's a pot in it. But look at these. Some of these have grown to the point where I can't pull them out of there in one piece. There's another one. See how how much it's overgrown the hole. And there's another one back in there. I don't know if you can see that. But anyway these have done really really well. And this is just a, a mixture of uh, nutrients in a tank of water. This is, this is surprising how well um, celery takes to this.